riding the Nava 1000 a lot and uh, for sure I never climbed that much in a day before and uh, also riding long hours like that is totally different to what I usually do when I'm touring a bike. Unfortunately things unfold slightly different than I expected them to be. I'm wasting my time, a tough right and I'm just hoping to make it in one piece uh, yeah let's see maybe do it again <laughs> the Nava 1000 is a self-supported mountain bike endurance race which goes a thousand kilometers through the Swiss Alps from Romanton to Montreux, climbing 31,000 meters, basically through the mountains the whole way, up and down all the time, apart from the first 100 Ks, there's basically no flat section on the route. The good news is that most of the climbs at least started on pavement but then when it came to the top it got rougher and rougher most of the time and also steep it was steep it was basically nothing below 10% and then it got up to 20% it was insane you got a hold on my word the way it was basically through stunning land it was just beautiful the landscape was nice you had nice views all over the mountains snow-capped mountains and yeah the nature was great um, also good for racing was that yeah you would pass through villages quite often so you could resupply a lot and you didn't have to carry that much food Water is available in Switzerland almost every corner and I have to carry one bottle of water basically. You can fill it up every 15 minutes. I was living off uh, sausages, some cheese, bread and lots of Snickers. You gotta hold on. My daily rhythm of cycling was basically to start cycling at 5 a.m. in the morning and then I would cycle through the day having a few breaks every now and then and then finish at 10 p.m. So that would give me at least six hours of sleep. During the day you would basically meet the same people every now and then as someone might stop for having lunch or whatever and then it goes back and forward and like that you get in contact um, with the other riders and it was really nice because although it was a race the 
atmosphere was nice and friendly and everyone was basically just trying to do the, their best or whatever but um, still with a really positive yeah and and good energy basically where is your man oh, he's behind you okay. on the other side of the of the hill okay measuring my daily distance more in elevation meters than in distance and I was trying to do as close as possible to four and a half thousand meters of climbing a day. Yeah, on the third day I guess the bomb track team prepared a small surprise for me and I was riding up this yeah, highway like paved road and up on the hill there was this shiny road bike guy standing like like an alien almost and it turned out that it was Gosse, another teammate from bomb track which I haven't met before so we rode a few meters together and had a small chat and I really liked it, it was a nice surprise. After the first three days went really good and I was feeling strong and still fresh kind of. Um, on the fourth day at kilometer 700 or so, I don't know, I started feeling a bit weak and sick sort of. Didn't want to eat anything anymore. I went to the pharmacy, I got the electrolytes and uh, I started vomiting right away. I had a few more hours of rest but it didn't get better so eventually I decided not to continue on that day and I booked a room for that night and it just got worse and worse and about 10 p.m. in the night or what I got really severe heat attacks and I had to cool down myself and we had to call the ambulance and so they did whatever they could they checked me I got a salt infusion from the ambulance so the ambulance guys basically told me that I had a heat stroke in combination with exhaustion. I still decided to take the train down to Montreux, knowing that um, really the organizer of the race was about to finish pretty soon. So yeah, Fish and me went there and welcomed him at the finish and cheered at him. And yeah, that's the way how I finished the race for me. Sure. We're now back in Montreux. At the finish of the Nabat 1000, and yeah, it feels weird to get here like this, but also it's probably the right decision. Being in the sun now already feels a bit weird, so I'm still damaged a little, so it's it's good, I guess. And yeah, we can do it again another time, maybe next year. It's gonna be right. Maybe okay. I'll come with you. <laughs> yeah.